Every year, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service employees and volunteers in California, along with California Waterfowl, help coordinate a contest that brings together students' passion for art and nature. The California Junior Duck Stamp Competition, open to all K-12 through graders, produces paintings and drawings of waterfowl that are worthy of a gallery. And this year, the Crocker Art Museum was chosen to host the contest judging and display the 2014 entries for visitors to see the wide array of techniques and species represented. It's great to have it here at the Crocker Art Museum. We get a lot of other um, audience members that we wouldn't typically get out at the refuge. This time of year, all kinds of people are coming and visiting the museum during the daytime with their kids or families or school groups. So it's great for them to be able to see and learn about the program and watch the judges as they judge the art as well. These submissions require more than just artistic skill to create. The contest also requires the students learn about waterfowl. I didn't know anything about my duck or any type of duck, so I had to look in books and read about it and see what, what kind it is and how it is and everything and look up what color actually it is. I had no, like, I'm not a duck person really, but um, I had to kind of look at the picture a lot to like know what I'm doing. I drew a northern pintail. This was my first time drawing an animal. It's kind of nerve-wracking to like see the judges like walking around and just, oof. Months prior to the submission deadline on March 15th, service staff and volunteers visit local schools to teach the students about waterfowl. The curriculum includes the characteristics of waterfowl, the habitat needed for these birds, and the students are even given a quick sketching lesson on how to draw a waterfowl. Students can then take their new knowledge of avian species and create a one-of-a-kind work of art. The deal with a, with a duck stamp is that you're creating something, you're, you're painting something that's going to be made into a much smaller picture. So you try to get as much detail and light and shadow into it as possible so it'll pop out when, when it goes down to a smaller picture. Uh, it's also teaching you to paint environment uh, around you and uh, it's teaching kids to just really look at what's going on around them. So it does teach you a lot about environmental stuff, uh, grasses and so forth, and uh, what we're dealing with at, at all times and what it takes to save it. That's the big key, is trying to save what we have left. The artwork can serve as an end project for a class study on birds, an art project for a homeschool student, or just something a student made for fun. But no matter the reason the stamp submission was created, the winning submission of the California Junior Duck Stamp Contest will travel to Washington, D.C. to compete with other state winners. And then amongst the first place winners, one will be chosen as the best of show. And that one best of show will actually go on to nationals to compete against the 50 other states and a couple territories to become um, the best across the nation, which gets produced into a small little stamp that is sold for $5 across the nation to help support the Junior Duck Stamp Program. The stamps are coveted by collectors, and the funds raised from the sales of these stamps goes towards Junior Duck Stamp scholarships for national contest winners, state programs, and educational materials for future students to learn about Waterfell and the contest. Um, this year, we brought the Junior Duck Stamp Art Contest judging event to the Crocker Art Museum in Sacramento because we want to engage the public in this program. Anyone is able to purchase a federal junior duck stamp. To every dollar that's contributed to that sale goes towards conservation education in our state. So it's a nice feedback loop. It helps us to bring free programs to schools. It helps us to provide the awards for the students during the art contest. As a thank you to the students for their submission and dedication to helping waterfowl, the service hosted an award ceremony at the San Luis National Wildlife Refuge Complex. The students and their families were welcomed to the refuge and enjoyed the duck stamp artwork on display, and the top 100 winners from this year's contest received plaques. The service will continue to inspire students to create art representing the nation's waterfowl by visiting classrooms and teaching students about waterfowl traits, habitat, and importance. In 2013, across the nation, there were 29,000 entries from students that entered this competition. Um, last year here in California, we had over 4,000 entries. Um, this year at 2,699, we dropped a little bit. We still lead the nation in the number of entries. Um, and to us, it just means we're, meeting, we're reaching a lot more children about the curriculum and waterfowl and wetlands and conservation.